Hey Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, here to do your next two weeks love reading, see what the messages are, smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings, personal reading link in the description box below, please keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate, take what fits, leave the rest, and let's get into your reading, we're going to do a Celtic Cross and see what messages are showing up here for you. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Wands. So a lot of passion, fire, uh, being or feeling very lusty, um, be, feeling like the, a sense of physical energy, just wanting to go, 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 go right you have a lot of energy it looks like in the next two weeks um getting stuff done um bringing the house down you know um now the tower can represent a sense of like ruin maybe you're on a path of destruction so you might want to be careful as well um this sometimes the knight of wands can be a very like charging after something and knights you know get their orders and then they just go they're like they they're like a trailblazer they just burn a, a path but the thing there's there's a there's a message here to be cautious okay to to just be a bit cautious it's it's almost like a firefighter rushing to a fire in a building you know it's a very dangerous thing to be doing it's very heroic um but there could be some danger, all right? And this could have something to do with traveling or something online or something to do with the world. It could be, it could possibly be a, a bit of a reckless pursuit and it could have something to do with your dating life or people that you're socializing with. So I feel like that's, a, that's an overall message. Now the past energy, there is a sense of sadness and grief, maybe some regret or some remorse, okay? Feeling like uh, things aren't working out, not being able to turn around and see that there is a beautiful there's two cups here um this kind of feels like a sense of negative thinking look at all the black uh being a bit melancholic in the past where kind of like down in the dump or a bit down in the dumps are a bit blue like bluesy you know like feeling kind of blue and past energy all right so now in the present you do have the seven of cups so there's kind of like this what do i do right there is this there might have been a ghosting situation well in the present there might be right now somebody's uh there's a non-committal energy okay whether it's you or just the general energy in your life um having a lot of fantasies perhaps not being able to make a decision or having a lot of options and it almost feels like the most intriguing option to you here is the one that you don't see or the one that you can't see right everything else is pretty apparent or transparent like it's out in the open right but this ghost is like hiding behind some kind of veil and it feels to me like you're maybe you're trying to make heads or tails of something okay now what's driving you is this page of cups and this is like a very mild sweet communication so there might be something here in your life um, communication that you want to have or maybe an apology or something you want to receive or say to somebody um, it's not deep it's not heavy it's not intense it's more along the lines of just being um, kind and sincere and very sweet could even be something to do with a selfie right taking a picture right the fisheye lens right there now what's crowning on top of you is this desire to not let go to be greedy to hold on tight to something but to also uh, block and not open yourself up here not let anybody in to deflect a bit now i do see going forward in, within the two weeks period there is going to be some type of opportunity that comes to you you might receive a gift or you might give one um this this ace of pentacles is more along the lines of something that it's even maybe a light bulb moment or an idea but it's something that comes from spirit 
okay? And it's more of an opportunity. Um, you'll, you'll be given some type of an opportunity to make something real or to receive something real going forward. Okay. Now this can also represent money. So there might be some type of money or something of value of a gift that's given to you. So expect that to come forward for you. Now with the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Cups in the position of you, this is stay true to who you are, Scorpio. Um, be real, be true, honor yourself, be true to yourself. You could also have another um, water sign that might be on your mind. But this is an energy of being true to you. And you know, I just realized I never did actually... <laughs> I'm going to kick myself. I need to go back because I confused myself. Uh, now, so the message of the Ace of Pentacles that I just gave you is the same. Okay. However, this is in a position of benefit or challenge. Right. Either way, it's a good thing. Either way, because you have the Nine of Cups coming to you. So let me just erase some of what I said here. The benefit to you is to, to offer something real or to accept something real. The benefit of for you is to offer or accept a, a gift that's coming to you okay the challenge though is doing just that okay um you scorpio might be that type of person that doesn't feel you deserve gifts or blessings or um things of value okay um you might not be that scorpio that feels like you're worth receiving something um <clears throat> You might be the Scorpio that just likes to give the gifts and not receive them, right? Um, but I feel like there is something coming to you here in the next couple of weeks, an opportunity or a gift or money or a blessing, uh, something worthy um, for you to handle, like get your hands on. Um, I feel like the message here is to try to accept that that comes into you, okay? This could even be, like I said, it does kind of make me feel like a big light bulb, you know, like you're being also either somebody, you're being woken up to something or another person is being woken up. And like, it's like, you know, like a, like a, a zinger on the head. It's like, oh my God, this waking up. Now, look, going forward, as I was saying, you have the nine of cups here. So this is a wish coming true for you. Whatever it is, whatever wish that your heart is right now making or desires, I feel like you're, it's going to come for you in the next couple of weeks okay this is um could be oh sometimes it could be material happiness but this is contentment right you, you will have contentment in your heart um and i feel like it might have something to do with accepting or giving some kind of gift i feel like you might be a little bit confused on an emotional level about what to do about something um but i feel like your wishes are going to come true right what it is that you are wishing and hoping for Whatever it might be, will have an emotional, a positive emotional impact on you, okay, in the next couple of weeks. Now, with the King of Cups, like I said, Scorpio, you need to be true to who you are. This King of Cups, and if you forget, okay, masculine or feminine energy, if, you for, if you're forgetting who you are, you need to remember who you are. And if you're not exactly sure, understand the King of Cups shows up as someone who is a supportive, tolerant, empathic leader. Okay, a nurturing, healing type of a person that with all that water energy, that is the essence of who you are. Okay, so uh, be proud of that. I feel like that's your advice here. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of those positive traits. Let's take a look. I just want to see. Yes. Okay. You also have the four of wands. Um, your advice here with the four of wands is to... I feel like pay attention to your family and friends or the people that you reunite with in your life. They are, they bring stability. They bring co the core essence of who you are. Um, now the four of wands can also represent uh, marriage. It can also represent celebrations um, or returning home. <clears throat> so I feel like that's your advice here is to uh, focus on those things in your life at this time seems to be the most important okay um now the other person whoever's in your life or other people there's a little bit of trying to figure something out uh there's someone in your life it could be an air sign but either way there's someone in your life who's trying to make a decision 
okay? They're trying to trust their intuition with this Two of Swords um, to make a decision. They're, they, they seem to be willing to compromise. They sit in a, 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 they sit in a place of thinking about something where they may need to compromise on something here, okay? Yeah, um, I feel like this person is quite unsure the nine of wands they have up some pretty serious boundaries right now i feel like whoever they are could be a fire sign as well this person does not wish to be rushed or put in to any compromised situation they are very um they, they will consider and think about things that's how i feel this is the energy this person has been through it and they have some battle scars so they're a bit overprotective of themselves with the nine of wands okay um, but I do feel like they're willing to take a look at something. I'm not really sure what it is and make a decision in regards to something to do with their boundaries. I don't feel like they're willing to compromise their boundaries, so to speak. Um, it's interesting because when I look at all the different sizes of these wands here, I feel like there are some things that they will let sway, but there's... Uh, some things that they just will not compromise on okay so th that's the energy of whoever it is that you have particularly in your life at this time okay so the hopes and fears you know the ten of swords is here so there is this hope of being able to recover losses uh, in regards to something in your life whether it's love career finances um But it, there is this fear of like betrayal or hitting rock bottom and never coming back up again. Um, your hope is this yellow where the dark clouds are moving away and the sky is clearing. The dawn is breaking. Um, so I feel like I feel like you might be a little bit <laughs> coming back up from something here. And I feel like you have there's a lot of yellow. Um, and I feel like the, 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 the sun, I feel like it's really silly, but I feel like the sun's just going to shine. Uh, it's going to come out again. The next day, uh, everything is going to be okay. Uh, that's, what is that song? Some, uh, that little kid was saying, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing's going to be all right. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's the energy. Maybe you already know that, but you might fear like you're not going to recover from something or that you're just down for the count um, or that you're going to stay down right um you might like i said you might have a little bit of melancholy or a sense of loss at times but um i don't know i don't see you being overly depressed because the outcome here is the eight of cups so i feel like for you scorpio um whatever energy is trying to keep you down you you will move on from it you will recover you will go after your ninth cup okay which is right here it's going to come to you actually you're not going to have to go very far um, I feel like there's a gift or some kind of blessing that's going to come to you. And I feel like it's going to come, um, but it's going to be up to you to decide whether you're going to want to receive that or not. Okay, because a lot of times our opportunities come to us. And just because the opportunity shows up the door, we have the free will to say yes or no. So if, if there's something that you really want in your life and the opportunity comes, make sure you recognize the opportunity and make sure you take it okay if that's something you really want don't let the fear of betrayal or things holding you back or um being kind of um don't let so it's basically saying you know you op we operate out of place of fear or we operate out of place of love so where are you with things in your life okay that's that's really what the message is coming forward here okay so you also have self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting that's pretty much being like you know get make sure that you're meeting all your own needs first before you go and act okay you are protected you are safe and divinely guided so i feel like you might have some guardian angel around you um you are someone that's very protected in life you might already know that you might already feel that energy and sometimes people are like, well, you know, all these bad things happen. Well, they might have been bad, but maybe worse things could have happened. You were protected from those. All right. You also have play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. 
Wow. So I feel like that's the most important message here, at least. I think the focus is in life. Life should be enjoyed. We should laugh. We should goof off. We should enjoy our time with other people who are important to us. Play hard. Like, work really hard. You also have commitment. Things are going to get serious between you and someone. That's your future. Things will get serious. Now, who could you be dealing with? It's interesting. The only court card is a King of Cups. So there might be another water sign that you have some connection with. A Scorpio, uh, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Is there anything else for Scorpio to know? Okay, there is a possibility of a pregnancy in your future. Okay, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. Uh, it could be a family member or a friend. <clears throat> Let's see. Pregnancy can also represent that empress energy. Um, and it can also be about creation, abundance, fertility, or good parenting. And you also have manifest. Scorpio, the message here is tell the universe exactly what it is that you want. Exactly. Like when you go to the restaurant, <laughs> you want a steak. Tell them exactly how you want it. Right? You are, we already know you want the steak. But the server is going to say, okay, and how exactly do you want that? How do you want it made? Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay, let's see the Chinese signs. You or your person. Both of you. None of you. If it's none of you, it's fine. It's not. It doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay, year of the pig. Year of the dog. Year of the goat. And year of the dragon. Okay. So if you don't know your Chinese sign, you could always look it up. Just type in the year, date, and month of your birth and look up Chinese Zodiac. All right. So your two. Wow. You have two charms, fearless and love. So this feels like it's the message here is love fearlessly. Love fearlessly. There is no other way to love. Love fearlessly. If you, if you, if you have fear, You'll never be able to love. Love fearlessly. And be fearless in love. That's just the message. Maybe somebody has that written somewhere. Maybe one of you one of you Scorpios have that written somewhere. Or you see that written somewhere. Yep, that's your message. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoy this reading. I'll be back in two weeks. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, you guys. Love you. See you all next time. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like you. You made this mess and left me with the